Miscommunication happens all the time. It happens at work, it happens with our friends, happens with our children, and it happens in your most intimate relationships. Today on Reaction Reset, we're talking about what happens when people miscommunicate and how it can deteriorate your relationship. An issue isn't a problem until someone responds, and it's in their response that determines where the connection is going to go. In my office as a therapist, one of my biggest jobs is trying to tell one client what another client said, because many times what someone is saying isn't what's heard, especially when the relationship is intimate. Miscommunication happens with the people that we're closest to, the people we feel that we know the best. We make assumptions. This is dangerous since the only truth about all humans is they're unpredictable. I mean, you can be married 25 years and learn new truths about your partner. If you find yourself in the middle of an argument or a complex problem you don't understand, I'm going to encourage you to pause. Before you send a text, before you send an email, before you send an instant message or anything else, I would like you to consider these points. First, remind yourself, a feeling is never right or wrong. It just is. If your partner is feeling a specific way, you can't come in and say, well, you shouldn't feel that way. That's ridiculous. They can feel the way they want. However, what they do with that feeling is something you want to be part of. Secondly, in most cases, the person who initiates the conversation is feeling strongly in one way. If you take the opposing view at full force, you can expect a conflict. What I encourage you to try instead is a technique called parroting. Parroting helps you clarify what you're actually hearing. So let's say person A says, I am really angry. I'm so upset at you. You come back with, I hear you're really angry and you're really upset at me. Most of us want to know the person we're talking to is listening to us, especially in an intimate relationship. Parroting shows that you are there 100%, that you're interested in what they're saying, and that you're really listening. It also shows that you are willing to make sure you understand instead of win the conflict. Finally, when the person is able to reveal what it is they're really upset about, this is an opportunity for you to come back, and you definitely should, and tell them what your original intention was. At this point, it's really important that you clarify where you are again with the person so that you parroted back what they said and both of you are on the same page. I say that because even here, sometimes the person has gotten so scattered with their thoughts when they were upset that it's still not clear to the listener what it is they're upset about. Back to our example before, person A may reveal that they were hurt because you saying you had to work over the weekend, you were gonna be busy or tied up, made them feel like they weren't a priority, like you didn't value them. Now is the perfect time for you to state your original intent so that they can hear it. So what was your original intention? Why did you say what you did? Was it because you were too stressed out to give them the time that they deserved? Is it because being a good provider is important for you to show your partner? Are you trying to earn their respect by doing a good job at work? Either way, it's unlikely that you said what you said to intentionally hurt your partner. Now, I know this seems like a lot of work, but let me tell you, out of everything I see in my office that will kill a relationship, miscommunication remains number one. So I encourage all my clients to take the time because 
as you practice it, it becomes easier. There is more of a natural flow to it. And people, couples, feel heard and listened to and so much more love. Remember, change your reaction, change your world.